All right, guys, welcome to Yahya's Kitchen. Um, this uh, today I'm gonna make uh, some chicken dish. My first time ever making chicken, and I have no idea how to make it, but I think it's gonna turn out great. So, uh, what I did first was uh, got a whole bowl of chicken. We got about five pounds of chicken right here, right here. So this is about five pounds of chicken breast, all cleaned. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to make, uh, and, uh, basically this is, you're going to find out what it is after I end up making it. Um, so how do you cook chicken? So first of all, you have to wash it really well. So I washed it really well. And then I'm not sure what spices to put in there. So I'm just going to add chili pickle. So I, I got a whole bunch of chili pickle and I like milk. So I put the milk in here and I kind of, uh, waved it around a bit. So here's the chili pickle. Um, so the uh, pickle is now inside the um, pot. And um, well, I know that you need, with chicken, you need, with food, you need to have some kind of ginger garlic kind of thing going. So this chili pickle has uh, chilies in it. Uh, but this green chili sauce, green chili sauce has coriander and no ginger no garlic so we'll have to figure out how to get ginger and garlic in here so I'm gonna put some chili sauce in here so this is basically going to form some kind of marinade uh, hopefully I think that's too much I put in too much because this thing is super spicy hot um, so this is what we have this is what we have so far um, Oh, right here. So this is chili garlic sauce. So chili garlic sauce plus mango ginger chutney should give us the ginger garlic that we're looking for. And Indians love to put um, tamarind in their food. So I'm going to put some tamarind sauce as well. So uh, just some basics about Indian cooking. It has to have onions as a base. So you saute the onions, but I don't have onions. You need to have ginger and garlic whenever you're cooking meat, I think. Um, don't quote me on this, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to put some ginger and garlic, but since I don't have them as individual ingredients, I'm just going to mix them together in um, in this form. So this chili garlic sauce, it should, should be good enough. I don't want to put too much because I'm not really into garlic, but just enough that I can say I put garlic in here. Uh, so it qualifies as Indian cooking. And then now I'm going to put some ginger chutney because I don't have ginger but I have the ginger chutney so I'm gonna put some ginger chutney uh, I'm gonna put about this much in here um, maybe I need a little bit more let's put a little bit more in there um, I think that should be enough Indian cooking has tamarind in it and since I'm trying to make some Indian dish uh, hoping it will come out Indian dish I'm gonna put some tamarind in it uh, not sure how much to put in here don't want to put too much, but um, I'm going to put about as much as one cap, one cap full. Put it in here. Okay. All right. Uh, let's put a little bit more. I'm not sure if that's enough. Maybe two caps full. Okay. I'll just put a little bit more. Um, I don't think it hurts to have too much tamarind in your food. Or it does, but I, I, I'm not sure if it does or not. Um, haven't really seen. All right, um, so I think starting to look good. Look, it has that um, yellowish coloring that um, I think this actually comes from the pickle mostly, but Indian food has yellowish coloring. So um, now we have to put in um, spices. So I have all these kinds of spices here. I'm not sure what they are. Um, this one says cumin powder on it. So I know this is cumin powder. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put cumin powder in here, but I'm going to put a little bit. So you just have to kind of estimate, you know, you kind of, kind of, uh, there, about, about this much. I uh, hope that's enough. And then you want to put in, you want to put in different kinds of spices. So, um, so, well, I have yellow spice. Um, okay, so these are like different spices. I, ha I have some red spice as well. 
the one that finishes. But uh, so we're gonna put the red spice, no red spice in our cooking today. But we have brown, yellowish brown spice, we have yellow spice, and we have brown spice. So we're gonna just kind of put them together. And I don't think that brown spice is cumin because the color looks a little bit different. Or maybe it looks very similar. Um, so this brown spice in here, in my left hand, is what I want to put in. But it looks an awful lot like cumin powder. And I already put in cumin powder. Um, so now I don't know if there's another spice that looks like cumin powder but is not cumin powder. Um, and I don't want to leave out any spices. So I'm just going to put this in here anyways. And hopefully it's not cumin powder, it's something different. So I'm just going to put yay much in here. Uh, it doesn't look like cumin powder. It looks, um, yeah, uh, so hopefully that's not cumin powder. Okay, so now some of this yellow spice, yellow stuff. Um, there we go. I think this much is good. Uh, okay. And some of this yellowish brown stuff. Uh, I'm just going to put about this much. Well, that's a little bit too much, I think. Um, maybe about this much is good. Okay. So now we have all the powder spices starting to look really good. Um, starting to look like Indian food. It has, you know, yellow color and brown color. Okay, so there are all these other spices in there. Um, I think I'm supposed to put this in here if it's going to be Indian cooking too. So I'm just going to drop a little bit of this in here. I'm not sure what it is. But, you know, it can never hurt. Um, and then drop a little bit of this stuff in here. Um, but I think this stuff has husk on it, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and then, I'm not sure what this is. This says table blend, seasoning blend, salt free Mrs. Dash. All natural, no MSG. Um, this has onions in it. Um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And since I don't have onions, I might just use this in here. So, I'll just put some of this stuff in here. Okay, all right, so starting to look good, I think. Um, uh, and I'll just go ahead and put, the, see, I don't have any red stuff, but I have this red stuff. This red stuff is called tandoori masala. And I'm not sure if that's what all red stuff is. Uh, well, there's some red stuff in here, so I'll just put this in here. But let me just compare to make sure it's not the same as this red stuff. No, it looks very different. So this looks very bright red. I'm not sure what it is, but just put it in here. Whoa. Um, that's all there is. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, and then this red is a little darker red. So I'm going to put some of this darker red spice um, in here. Okay. I think it should be good. Uh, so let's close this up. All right. So starting to look good, I can smell some of the spices, smells spicy, um, smells, uh, smells good. Um, so I'm going to mix it up a little bit. and now I'm going to put the chicken in there. So that's what you want to do. Ultimately, you want to put chicken in here. Um, so it's not, uh, I think you need some more, it's, it's real thick. Uh, it might not cover all the chicken that I have. So I'm going to put in some, some milk. I have whole milk. Uh, so I'm just going to put some whole milk in here. I think I should be good enough. Okay, so I'm um, put the whole milk in here and I mix it together. It's really red. I was hoping it to be more yellow than red, but maybe I, I put in too much of the red stuff. I'm going to put in some more of this yellow stuff because I think Indian cooking is supposed to be yellowish red. Mine says bright red. Uh, so you want to put about this much. I think it should be good. And uh, let's mix it up again. Uh, I didn't change the color a whole lot. Hmm. So let me, let me just put a little bit more of the yellow stuff just to make sure, um, you know, uh, I'm not putting too little. All right, so now we have some, some yellow, red stuff, and we have all the spices in here, and uh, it's starting to look um, like uh, it's starting to look like I can add the chicken in here. So uh, let me let me look. Um, I think I have a lot of chicken. It's about five pounds. So I'm gonna put in some more 
I'll make it a little thinner. Okay, so I think this is this is uh, decent. Um, there's enough in here to cover all the chicken. All right, so now what you want to do, this is the important part, is you want to take the chicken and you want to put it in here. So you want this to go in here. So you want to do it so it doesn't splash on you. So let's uh, start from the bottom a little bit. It's splashing, but it's fine. And just put it all in there. Okay, perfect. That's this. That looks good. So you just think. So this is just put some black uh, pepper in here. Just regular black pepper. The mixing is almost done. All right. So here's the thing with Indian cooking. I think when I've seen uh, foods, uh, they usually have some kind of. They will have a chicken dish, and then they'll have a veg, veg vegetable dish, some kind of vegetarian thing. Um, I'm gonna put the two together a little bit because uh, I don't want to make two different dishes. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna use one pot anyways. This pot is gonna be on the stove anyway, so uh, there's no reason for me to use another pot to be cooking. So I'm just gonna. All right, so I have spinach. Uh, I have plastic spinach. So this is cooking with plastic spinach. Um, so I'm just gonna put some spinach. I'm gonna wash the spinach first. Okay, so what we have here is uh, spinach. Uh, just put it in there. This thing is too small. All right, so I was running out of space a little bit, so I'm just gonna get a bigger um, a pot. All right, so just kind of put it in there. Um, just going, just going there perfectly fine. Uh, so a lot of your marinade is still in there, so you wanna kind of get it down. Um, one way to do it, I guess, is you can just put the spinach in here. Wipe it down with this. All right, starting to look good. Okay, um, and I'm gonna put in one more vegetable in here because I have a, I have this sitting in the fridge and I bought it and I wanted to eat it but I haven't been able to. Uh, so I think what we'll do is this is called butternut squash. I'm not sure if they use it in Indian cooking and how, but I think we can add it into our dish so we just get a bunch of butternut squash and this is fresh cut so I don't think I need to wash it but I'm just gonna rinse it just uh, just in case okay so we have a whole bunch of butternut squash in here so I'm gonna put it in there um, I want to make sure you get it all in all right uh, so this is all right so uh, now I think we're ready so we just have to put this on the stove and cook liquid in here some kind of fluid so it stays, um, it, so it stays moist. So you want to cook the meat, that's the point. Um, but what you don't want to do is, you know, you don't want to um, burn it. So you want to put in, you know. All right, so what I have here is yogurt. Um, so Indian like, Indians like to put yogurt in their meat, uh, meals, I guess, because uh, it gives it that flavor. So I'm just put in some yogurt in here. That's about that much should be okay. Well, okay, that, that's good. Let's put a little bit more. Uh, I, just, I think a little bit more is okay. Yeah, but too much yogurt never hurts. Um, you know, you can't go wrong with yogurt. And you want to mix. So, um, I think ultimately what I need to do, what I need to do is put in water. But I have two percent milk in the fridge. I haven't used it in a while. I, I drink normally. I normally drink whole milk. So um, I'm just gonna put the two percent in here because I don't want to waste it. And I do need some, you know, wet stuff in here. So just put in the two percent milk in there if you have one. I'm just gonna, gonna rinse it out with water, and there you have it. I think it's getting looks starting to look like some kind of um, curry. I, I think this is starting to look good. It's starting to some, look like some kind of curry. So we're almost done now. Just gonna put in some more uh, water in here just to make just to make sure there's enough for the cooking to take place because you really want to cook the meat well in Indian cooking. Um, okay, so there we go. Uh, this is this is it. So now what we do is we take this. So it doesn't look yellow or dark red like the regular Indian cooking. Um, not sure why. Because I put in a lot of the red, and it was really red in the beginning, but I think the yogurt may have diluted the color a little bit. All right, so there we have. It. Okay, there you go.